Well, I have to congratulate you because you were part of history. You were in the administration for the first black female vice president. Yes. 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 You were right yes. there. Oh, yes! That's Lucky. you! So, Simone. My husband looks fine. Girl, your husband yes. does look good. We're gonna get to your hubby. What, how did it feel, like, being there in that moment of time? It was amazing. You know, I had the opportunity to, I obviously worked for the president's campaign. I was his senior advisor. And when uh, he selected then Senator Harris as his running mate, I also got the opportunity to travel with her. So I got to know her very well. And I was very honored when she asked me during the transition to come on as her spokesperson. Cause it's, it, you know, it's nothing light. You know, the world, she's the first woman, black yes. vice president of the United States of America. Yes. And the world, yes, we can clap for that. Yes. And the world views her through the prism of the media, so yeah. it was absolutely amazing. Um, it was some hard times, let's just be very clear. Of course. Came into the administration in the midst of COVID, um, a racial reckoning that is still happening. Yeah. So many things, but it was an amazing experience. I got to drive up to the White House every day. Oh! And you had your own key code. I had, I had a little card. thing, you know, I go through the <laughs> gate, okay, and it was, it was just truly amazing. It was the honor of a lifetime. I had always wanted to work at the White House, and working for the vice president was truly like every day, it was the first, it's my first professional experience going into a room where the person in charge was someone that looked like me. Yeah. This is such what I love about you and I admire about you because you know when it's time to leave and you do, and you, and you actually, you take the risk. Yeah, you gotta know when faith. it's time to go. You know when it's time to go. And so when you left uh, Vice President Harris, did she have any words of advice for you? She did. She is, she's so encouraging. She's serious and she's about her business, okay? Yeah. She, you know, she wants the work to get done and we, there's a time for laughs and there's a time for work. Mm. And so she's very serious about the work and that's something that I take with me now into the job that I do. But she gave me good advice. When I sat down before we were leaving, she told me, she said, you could do anything you want to do. Don't let anybody tell you no. You have worked for the things that you want. She says, so whatever, if you want a show, go get a show. If Ooh. you want, she said that to me yeah. and it's something that I kept in my mind. And so when I had these conversations after leaving the White House, I would tell the executives that, yes, I would like to have a show. And they would often say, mm, I don't think you want to do that. Mm. Or that's not what you want. That's too much. You don't, you want to be flexible. No, I want a show. And it wasn't until I sat down with Rashida Jones, the president of MSNBC, a black woman, yes. who asked me, well, what kind of show would you like to have? And it is because of Rashida, who valued my voice that I have the opportunity to, you know, do the news now every Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern. And this is what I love. Because I watch you, you are, I don't miss an episode. You are on my DVR. And you are unapologetically you on your show. You are short, you are curvy, you have short hair, and those nails. Yes, yes, you will yes. go on the air with those nails. You don't look like your average newscaster. Was there ever pressure for you to change? I think earlier on in my career, um, there, I mean, even when I got to the White House, there were people who said, oh, what, you don't, the nails, too much. Like, the lashes, too much. Maybe you need some hair. Uh, but at MS, <laughs> that's what they said. They were like, are we gonna continue to be bald? But at You must have made me take this wig <laughs> off. I swear to God. You want, I'm not gonna do it. And it, leave the wig on, Sherry. It's working for you. It work, it's working for you. The wig is working for you. I don't know if it will work for me, okay? <laughs> But at MSNBC, I have always been encouraged to be myself as we were developing my show. All yeah. of the executives said, look, we know about Donna Burns. We don't, we want Simone here. Now, there might be some days we need to call up Donna Burns now. Right, right. Okay, breaking news happens. Yeah. But people want to tune in to watch you, and I have really appreciated um, that they have just encouraged me to develop my voice, because the reality is, Look, people are still watching television. They are engaging with the news in different ways. Yeah. Cherry, but look, when something pop off, y'all turn on your TV. Don't I know y'all are turning on your TVs, people. Y'all are turning the TVs on.